guys, how's everyone doing today? My name is Fizz, how's everyone doing today? Today we're gonna show you how to build a silo. It's going to be a step-by-step, -step. sit back and re enjoy. And uh, because uh, I, a lot of people are asking me, how do you do a smaller circle? And I was like, well, I guess we'll show. Now, to have this enabled, uh, I'm, I am using the no collision uh, vanilla artificial um, no collision setting. Um, so if you need to do that, obviously turn it on. I don't know if this will work on official servers. I don't play on official servers, so this is more of a creative showing. And if you can, feel free, tweet it to me, and I would love to show and see. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my example, and obviously, uh, yeah. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is find a nice little spot to where you're actually going to place it. And obviously, um, you know, you don't know, you don't really need the fly or anything or ghost, but I'm just doing it to show you guys. Um, you know the example of doing and placing it so here I have placed just a pillar with a ceiling that's it nothing's fun or special or anything and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some wooden ceilings you're gonna need some wooden pillars some fence foundations some foundations not really and some stone walls now you don't need uh, the, the foundations those are just a thing all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the circular bit, the octagon, hexagon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to make that little bit. So first we're going to do is place a fence foundation on this section right here. You want to make sure it's placing on the outside. You do not want to place it inwards like so. Like that. You don't want it like that. You want it in on the outside. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to snap it sideways. This allows you to have a snap point. We've gone over this a couple times, but we're going to go over a small gonna first do the top one then the bottom one these right here are going to be they're not like you don't need them okay so don't you know don't 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 ha make them out of thatch all right next thing you're gonna do is place the ceiling like so and lastly to finish this off you're gonna do a pillar right underneath and now what you're gonna do is uh, destroy all of these and there you go there's one corner of the start of our silo. So let's continue. I'll do it one more time and then we'll speed it up. So first we're gonna do on the outside like so. Next we're gonna do is snap it inwards like this. And the reason why you're gonna need no collision, obviously, is because when you do something like this, um, it's colliding with the pillar. And if you didn't have the no collision uh, setting for arc, default arc, not uh, not a mod or anything, uh, then it would have a, oh, you can't place that there. So I'm sorry, official service, but uh, yeah. Anyways, place another ceiling there. And like so. And now we have ourselves two more ceilings. Like so. Now I'm gonna quickly speed build a little bit more. All right, so as you can tell, I uh, messed up my little finger cannon of destroying it. So obviously what I did is I just replaced it and stuff. But yeah, now we have half the circle completed. Now obviously it's not such a big circle, but it's circle big enough for what we're gonna be needing it for. So now let's go over here and we're gonna start from this side. And the reason why I just find it a little bit easier to go from half to half and it lines up just a little bit nicer in my opinion. Sometimes it gets messed up depending on how you build it. So we're gonna need some more ceilings and everything and we're gonna do this same technique again
And there you have it. There is the base of our silo. Very nice. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is finish off the bottom half and then we'll be working on the top half. So what we're gonna do, we can do any material you want. I'm gonna do stone. We're just gonna literally just place a bunch of it down below. Now obviously, at this point, if you didn't have um, no collision, then you wouldn't be able to do the next step, uh, the no the collision setting. Uh, obviously the whole thing, but for my purpose, for speeding up, I'm going to place down, oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna go down here and place these, and you don't need to go through the ground to place this. This is just for the sped up video part, okay? That way it's a little bit easier to show you guys the example, okay? Definitely don't need to uh, go through, but that I just did it because it's a lot easier. Okay, so now we have a nice flush and clean foundation for our water tower. Next, we need to pick out is the top. Now, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, I was thinking some backward wood because since our we're gonna kind of do with this build, um, you'll I don't know how, when that video will be out, but we're gonna do something like that over here. So first off, we're gonna do is use uh, some wooden walls, and we're just gonna hit E on the computer. And we're gonna just reverse them, basically like that. And uh, as you can tell, adds a nice little uh, little little uh, edge right there all the way around, and uh, you know that adds a little you know design aspect for the water tower. And then next, what we're gonna do is just go up. One, two, three. Whoop, need some more. Four, five, six. And we're gonna go up six. So, six of each way. All right, after you go six up with the wood, we're gonna get to the tippity top. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some ceilings. You're also gonna need some uh, left and right wooden slopes. And you're also gonna need some, uh, you can choose whatever you want. You can add uh, uh, sloped wooden roofs or you can add uh, sloped stone roofs. We're gonna do stone, so bear with me. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna cap off this top by going each other way, like so. Now, the next thing we're gonna do to make it a little bit simple is first off, we're gonna go and cap all these other heads as well. Now, we have a perfect uh, unified circle. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is going to be a little bit complicated, but not too much. First off, we're gonna place all the, what are these? The left ones first. So first off, we're gonna place one here, 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 and lastly, here. That way you have this kind of shape going on. But next what we're gonna do is we're gonna overlap. So next we're gonna place this the right ones. We're gonna place one here. Not there. Not there. Even I get sometimes some weird snap points. Here. And here. Next, that's what you got. And lastly, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use some wooden walls. And for, lastly, we're going to put them is we're going to put them in the middle like so. One here. One here. One here. And one here. Now we have this cool kind of skeleton shape for our support for our top. And last, we're going to put the roofs. So what you're going to do is put a roof here. A here. A here. And there. And now, there is our finished roof. Pretty cool, yeah? Alright, so last thing I want to do is add a little bit of detail on the bottom. So we're going to come back down to the bottom area, right? So, and we're, we're going to need some railings. Now, I'm going to use some wooden railings because they're just a little nicer. Um, that's what I kind of like, so we're going to just get some of those. First thing what you're going to do is place a ceiling outwards like this, and it could be thatch or wood or stone. It could be whatever you want. Next thing I'm going to do is place down a railing. Now, as you can tell, there is a different kind of snap points right here. You see there's different snap points. There's a green one, and then there's a purple one. We want the purple one to be here, okay? That way, if you place it like so, like that, it replaces the... Um, wall itself and we do not want that so to prevent that we're gonna place down the ceiling and then find the right snap point which is usually hitting E or Q I'm doing I'm circling for, through both trying to find which one it is 
and uh, we don't want that one either. It's a little bit difficult on this part, but I think we can get it, so let's see if we can get it. Come on. Come on. It's a little bit annoyance. Ah. God dang it. Come on. There we go. Sometimes it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> Go, and then I'll just delete this. Delete that. Go. As soon as you find that angle, it starts going pretty quick. Whoops, was too quick. See, sometimes our clicks to uh, mess with you on the sap points. And there you have it. The perfect base of our water tower. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you have your own little water tower for your barn or stables and whatnot. A completely built in vanilla arc. No mods needed, and if you want to paint it up, I kind of like this kind of look. It's kind of, uh, you know, kind of rustic and stuff, but you know what else you can do is also store on the tippity top, if you really wanted to, a, uh, a uh, water barrel, and then in the middle you could also store a bunch of different water barrels in itself, so that way it would act as a vanilla arc uh, water tower. So yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, that's it. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and it's just a small little, you know, build here for you guys to show off something cool that I thought about and then, uh, you know, have fun trying to build it. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a good one.